Americans are now taking apparently uh, uh, 100, um, 100 million prescriptions for antidepressants are written annually in the United States. A large number of these prescriptions are for SSRIs, uh, serotonin enhancing um, um, uh, serotonin boosters like Prozac and Paxil and Zoloft. Uh, we know these kill, uh, uh, drugs kill the sex drive. I mean, everybody in the medical community knows that these drugs kill uh, the sex drive, one of these three main systems. But I and my colleague, uh, Andy Thompson, a psychiatrist, maintain that these drugs also kill your ability to fall in love and your ability to stay in love. Um, in fact, when you drive up serotonin in the brain, you are suppressing the dopamine circuits. And the dopamine circuits are the circuits associated with elation, um, with obsessive thinking, and um, uh, uh, with feelings of romantic love. And in fact, um, when you kill the sex drive, you no longer have orgasms. And when you no longer have orgasms, you no longer have the flood of oxytocin and vasopressin associated with attachment. As a matter of fact, as one, this is a going statement, actually, in, um, about, ta about these drugs. Uh, you know, one person said, I knew I was taking too much Prozac when um, my mother died and I didn't cry. And in fact, I get emails all the time. I've written an academic article in this. It's in, in a book by MIT Press. And um, uh, in it, um, I, I, I get a, um, a lot of um, emails from people who've read that article. And one of them recently was from a man, I think in Holland. I'm not quite sure, but I think it was in Holland. And he said, um, you know, I, 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 I was madly in love with my girlfriend. And uh, she, um, I was doing poorly in school. And so uh, they put me on uh, a serotonin-boosting antidepressant. And um, uh, I, lo I lost my sex drive, but I also um, realized I didn't love my girlfriend, and I moved out. And seven months later, I got off the pills, and my sex drive came back, and my feeling for my girlfriend came back too. And so I went to a florist, and I collected as many roses as I could carry in my arms, and went over to her house and said, I think it was the pills. Um, would you take me back? And, uh, and she did. Uh, we're finding more and more people. Uh, psychiatrists are not looking at this. The medical community has not. Um, I've tried actually to write articles in, in three, in Lancet, in Nature, and in Science. Uh, they're not willing yet to see that these brain systems are related. And when you kill one brain system, it's going to have impact on other brain systems. And I think as medicine, because we know more and more about the brain and how these systems uh, interact, we will, in the next 100 years, begin to realize that... Um, uh, uh, that uh, we are jeopardizing um, the world of, of romance and attachment with these drugs. And because they're going generic, um, they're going to be more and more common around the world.